You're watching the Cowboys Report. I am Tom Downey. Today's show is a mailbag answering your super chats as they came in on today's live show. There are a lot of them, so we'll get into it. It is a safe space, by the way. All right, Mark Havaspate. Imagine what Jimmy would do with the flags, LOL. If this team had a good Jimmy Johnson, not like, you know, current Jimmy Johnson, be a different conversation. Jay Elam, tank the season, full rebuild everywhere. I'm fine with it, but your head coach isn't. Because your head coach knows you he's going to get fired if you do that. So that's, that's your philosophical problem right now, which is you set yourself up for this because you didn't go aggressively with your head coach in terms of making your roster better, and now you're like, well, shoot, what do we do? Problem. Tyler Grinder, can we afford Sue, Mims, and a lineman to shore things up until Dak is back? I mean, yes, you can if you want to, but does let, let's say you add Ndamukong Sue, Denzel Mims, and Daryl Williams to your offensive line. You sign the, You get those three guys. How many games win in the next five or six? Isn't it still two or three? I don't think it's enough to save your season. I don't think there are any outside of just wild bonkers, trade your first round pick and more moves I don't want to do that can save your season right now. That is how low I am right now on the staff, this regime, this front office, and this offense. Mark Havaspain, time for GM. Put it to a vote. Yes or no? Mark's a yes. You guys can vote. Why for yes and for no? I vote yes. Ten years, I'll win. If not, I'll step away. It's that simple. Boss fan Matt, one word, predictable. Look the same before Coop and after. Dak and receivers and coaches combo doesn't work versus decent teams. I mean, you, you don't have a quarterback who's going to you know be top three every week, even top five every week. That's just, there are very few that are. Your receivers weren't getting open, and your coaching staff didn't make life easy on your quarterback. You have all these offensive minds, McCarthy, Kellen, Philbin, Nussmeyer. What are you doing? You are not making life easy on your QB. That's the whole point of being a coach. You didn't do it right. For Mark, Dak's injury is JJ's excuse to keep Mike and Moore. I would hate that. I, I know that there's the injury excuse if you just roll it back again next year with Mike McCarthy and Kellen Moore, we're going to have no faith in this, in this franchise, even less than we have somehow. Maybe we haven't hit rock bottom quite yet. Like, just rolling it back, unless they surprise everyone and win five games with Dak out and make a playoff run. No, don't. Move on. He's had chances. It hasn't looked good. The penalty problem is not fixed. That's a huge problem for, for me. So you guys be Jerry Jones. FM to fire Mike McCarthy or KM to keep Mike McCarthy. It's the pinned comment on today's show. If the ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there, FM or KM. Boss fan Matt, replenishing next year, including coaches, as it did last year with D. Is it obvious? I hope that's what they'll do, but, you know, you drafted two or two offensive players this year and one of them wasn't active so hope you add some more offensive talent also why did you actively make yourself worse <laughs> didn't have to by the way you don't play really well in week one everyone's favorite lineman Connor Williams played really well week one all right Mark Hava Spain I'm 52 Jeremy LL I remember hats off your team played great at least your team made an effort to approve much aloha he is right. The Eagles tried. Eagles did everything to see, can Jalen Hurts be our guy? You, you, you throw money and picks at A.J. Brown. You add all this great talent. The Cowboys were like, let's get worse and see if we're better. Just come on. Come on. Kenneth Easley says, Drew Brees, LOL. He threw the LOL in. I know he's kidding. It's all good, Kenneth. We hit that on our, uh, on our DAC replacement at the end of that video. If you didn't watch it, please do. I'll link it in the comment section in the description. It's an LOL. It's fun. It's funny. That'll amp up the Sean Payton rumors. But nah, they ain't going to do that. From Mark, the question is, what quarterback out there can learn the offense and be more effective than Cooper, who knows the system inside and out? I think, I think you could find one. 
I think Jimmy G can learn it quickly. I, I think uh, Dalton could learn it quickly because he's kind of been in there. I think those guys can be better than Rush, but how much better are they going to be? Is that going to be a, hey, we won three games, we're a game under 500? That's your best case scenario. I don't think that's going to happen. I think you win two or three max with, with Dak out and the way that offense looked in week one. Things have to drastically change across the board on offense if you're going to have success. Dwayne Jackson, if the season is lost by the time Dak comes back, who are the top QBs coming back or might come out in the draft? So, we're going to guys like Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, you know, maybe a Will Levis, a Van Dyke from Miami, a Tanner McKee, and Anthony Richardson. I think you look hard at Young and Stroud. And by the way, if the season is lost and you end up with a top five pick, you have to consider quarterback. It's just like Romo Wentz Zeke year. You have to consider a QB. If they aren't there, please don't draft B. John Robinson fourth overall this time, but you have to consider a QB because even though Dak is younger than Romo was, he's been hurt a lot. Everything should be on the table if you have a top five pick in this upcoming draft. Absolutely everything should be. Now, today's show is made possible by BetUS. Chatsports.com slash bet promo code Cowboys125 is a 125% deposit bonus when you put down these 100 bucks with promo code Cowboys125 and chatsports.com slash bet. The week two odds here. These have changed significantly. Pre-week one, Dallas was a one-point favorite. As of filming, it's down to seven in favor of the an eight-point swing. That is not just your quarterback. That is the team look like trash in week one. That's a huge swing from that standpoint. The Bengals now a seven-point favorite. Can bet on them. I'm going to. Maybe reverse some Cooper Rush magic somehow. Chatsports.com slash bet promo code Cowboys125. Sam Lyles. And then we move on from McCarthy. Should we move on from Dak as well? Seems like both are liabilities for the Cowboys' future. You can't. If you want to trade him and you get a high draft pick, sure, I'm fine with that. Like, that's because he can't stay healthy. Talent wise, production wise, Dak's been great. He, he has been. I know that people don't think that. You can be wrong, it's fine. But we're now in a similar stage with, with our mindsets in that Dak has been hurt three times or four times now in three years. He's missed time and has not played well when he came back from injuries. In some of those games, especially week one. He did it last year down the stretch. It wasn't quite right for whatever reason. The injuries terrify me. You've now got Dak two more years left on his deal after this year. Now, if you don't extend him or restructure him, there's a huge cap hit that kills you. Maybe you want to have some flexibility there because you're worried about the injuries. If you end up you know, finishing 15th overall pick, no, just keep Dak, roll it back. Maybe you don't restructure, keep that door open now. But if you're, if you're drafting top three, I think you have to consider it. Reset the clock. Try to see if you can figure out, is Dak going to be healthy? He's been really good when he's healthy. But now he hasn't been healthy. That's a huge concern for me. So, again, you're drafting super early in the draft. Everything should be on the table. I think you owe it to yourself as a franchise. And that's me saying this. It's me, guys. I'm a big Dak guy. To consider it, do you think Dak Prescott is a guy on the term? Whether it's you don't like the talent or you're worried about me like, if, like me when you're worried about the injuries. Why for yes and for no. Luis Di Garza, would it be crazy to trade for a package of Locke, It, and Drew Locke? Yeah, because Drew Locke sucks. You couldn't beat out Geno Smith, my friends. I've seen Broncos fans talk themselves into Drew Locke. He's not good. It just, it's, he's not the answer at QB, and I don't, I don't want to move assets right now. I am not trading away any of my picks. You're, you're not good enough on offense. You lack the talent to justify that, even for a guy like Lockett. I don't think it makes sense. Two productions. Do you think we sign a quarterback or trade for one or stick with Rush? Maybe some both. Maybe you sign a QB to your practice squad, a Gilbert, a Danucci, and you start Cooper Rush, and maybe the Rush magic lives. I'm not sure about that one, though. Andres Gonzalez, Taylor Heineke, or Gardner Minshew, who you got? Can I, can I pass? Um, neither's good enough. Like, Heineke can do some decent things for you. So can Minshew. 
but the problem you run into is they're both very limited, and Heineke will make too many mistakes. So he doesn't have the arm. Like he's kind of a little bit too much like rush for me. Um, I don't know. I guess Minshew because Minshew because it's fun, but like neither. Two reductions. I bet the Cowboys will sign Gilbert, Danucci, or Hunley. What do you think? I mean, three good names, Jimmy, because they have ties to your to your coaching staff. Um, Gilbert has been in Dallas. Danucci was in Dallas until this year, and Hunley worked with Mike McCarthy in Green Bay. Now, I would probably rank their likelihood as Danucci, Gilbert, Hunley, but the staffs have also told you we don't think these guys are it because they cut Gilbert to keep Rush. They cut Danucci multiple times now to put him on the practice squad, and they worked out Hunley a year ago and said, no, 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 he's not very good. So, again, your options are not good. For Mark, why waste draft capital, or why waste draft capital? With Dak, we could not move the ball. How is a backup going to do? Time to tank and get high picks. Look, I agree with Mark. You couldn't move the ball on offense with a top 10 QB, who did not play like a top 10 QB. We can all be honest there. He played like, played like trash. He was terrible. Worst game since Denver's second year, I think. He was, he was bad. It did, did not go well. But the supporting cast was also really bad. O-line, receivers, penalties again, coaching staff. The backups aren't going to change that <laughs> unless the supporting cast drastically improves in a way I haven't seen her in a long time. It's going to be more of the same. How's the kid? Uh, she kept me up till 3 a.m. last night. It was great. She's doing great beyond that. Dream Reductions. Do you think we make a Matt Castle, Matt Castle type of move? I kind of hope not. Like They tried Matt Castle. It was bad. It did, it did not work. Uh, also from Dream Productions. Would be happy with Anthony Gordon or RG3. Would you be happy? Uh, I like Gordon coming out. He's been out of the NFL. So, no. RG3 is a fun name. I think he's going to stick with the broadcast stuff. He's good, at, he's good at broadcasting. Also, big name. You know, he hasn't been that good uh, in recent years. Unfortunately, the commanders, well, Washington, kind of ruined him from that standpoint. Now, if you want to be a part of future Cowboys mailbags, then you got to be subscribed. Hit that big red button. It's YouTube.com slash Cowboys TV. Jay Elam. Eagles won't take the NFC East. I, oh, the Eagles. You're right. Thank you for correcting me, Jeremy. Uh, <laughs> you said Eagles. I said the Giants will. I still can't get on board with Daniel Jones. So I'm still going to go with Philly. But I think the Giants might finish second. Depending on how the Cowboys fare without that. Jay Elam. Uh, hence, rebuild everywhere. Get Sean Payton. Hey, maybe the Cowboys' job is more alluring if they bottom out and and they go, Sean, we'll, we'll give you the keys. You know, top f top five pick for you. You can pick your QB, Dak, or whoever, and we'll, we'll make it work. That'd be nice. Why do I think the Cowboys would just say, ah, Dan Quinn's enough, and interview three three coaches? I, that That's my fear. Or they trade a first for Sean. Three Productions, Will Anderson to the Cowboys. That's fun. Let's do it. Tank and Micah and Anderson and, and maybe Sam Williams rushing the passer? Awesome. But if you're drafted in Will Anderson range, again, you need to consider quarterback. I think you have to. Luis D. Garza, Jake Fromm. Mm, no. He's bad. No. He, he, he's, that's like just, it's, a, it's Cooper Rush, same, same, but different. Like it's there's no there's no actual there's no change there. It's the, it's more of the exact same. So I pass on Jake Fromm. If you have questions, since it was an all super chat mailbag, DM me on Twitter at what going downy and I'll answer them when I have time and I'm in a better headspace. On Twitter at what going downy.